Well, here it is, episode two. I told you we'd have this car driving. And not a day later, we got this stupid little part. Cut to that clip. That's right, this piece goes on the bottom of the steering column. The rag joint, which is rubber, goes around here and then it bolts to the, the steering box. Um, this is the part we've been waiting on, the coronavirus part. Uh, however, uh, the one that was in the car actually had a crack and was broken, so it was no use anymore because when the steering column goes on this and there's little spline shafts in here, you don't want this spinning, I mean, when you're driving. So we got the new part. Uh, we're going to powder coat it and put the rubber on it and put it back in the car, and uh, that means we can drive this thing. So we got the part in, we put it on the steering column, got the steering column in the car. Uh, actually, we got a bunch more stuff down in the interior. If you would like to take a look with me, come on. Start with the glide seats. These guys uh, make aftermarket seats that are really good quality. Uh, you're probably asking why I didn't use the stock uh, Lincoln seats. Uh, it's because they're expensive as hell for a piece of crap seat that you have to redo anyway. So we decided not to go that route. We went with these. They look very similar. They're actually a little bit better quality than the old vintage 60s Lincoln seats. So we're going with these. This car is going to get a center console. We're actually going to have an iPad in the center that's going to run everything in this car. We kind of talked about that in the last episode. AC, everything, ignition, I mean, you, you name it. We installed the dash. Uh, we have the Dakota Digital put in right now, uh, just so we can see the gauges and stuff. Uh, I'm gonna take this for a quick test drive and make sure that everything shifts and moves and all that fun stuff. And then after that, I'm gonna drop it off at the tow truck and he's gonna take it to the dyno today. So, you'll get to see the dyno. Wish me luck. Main voyage. So far, so good. We got the laptop hooked up with HP tuners so we can monitor what this thing is doing. All right, well, here we go. In drive, reverse. Let's get out of here. Normally, we don't like to take these on the street until we're like 110% all together, but I do live on a cul de sac, so we'll take it up and down the cul de sac a little bit. Oh, <laughs> I was wondering why my gauges weren't working, but we have the HP tuner plugged in and set up the gauges. Uh, the Dakota Digital has a BIM module that you just plug in and everything works. And it's, so it already has all the sensors in the block and the motor. So it's already reading it right here on my uh, laptop here. So we know what's going on all the time. I'm guessing, I'm guessing 400 horse, maybe 425. We'll see. Technically, uh, the coyotes don't usually have uh, out of the box a lot of horsepower. You can add quite a bit, but it sure does sound good. This will be a nice driver. I mean, show car quality, but a nice driver. tow truck here he's waiting and then he can take this thing to uh, the dyno and then uh, see what kind of numbers this thing will put out you know there it is on the tow truck on the way to dyno gotta have a good tow truck company don't forget to check out my boys here if you ever need a tow Batman towing we'll see you at the dyno shop
426 horsepower to the rear tires. Hell yeah! That's awesome because that motor's out of the crate, probably about 460, 470 horse, but keep in mind you lose a little bit going through the transmission, down the drive shaft, in the rear end, tires to the ground, and it also depends on how tight it's strapped to the dyno or how loose. These guys are super safe, so they, they strap her down pretty good. So that's not bad, 426 horsepower for a stock 5.0 Mustang motor in a Lincoln. Man, it's awesome. Anyway, remember that Lincoln that we showed you a while back that was mashed in the front? Well, guess what? We got the job, and now I'm gonna take it over to my boy, Corey at State Frame. He's gonna pull the front end out, and we're gonna take you along the ride on how we fix this car, make it look good as new, like nobody even knew it happened. Here we go. That clamp on there, the chain being pulled. Corey's face is this far from it, man. That scares the hell out of me. I'm so glad he's a professional. I'm gonna keep you guys informed on this build, but today we need to do something very important, and let's give away some black fly sunglasses. So we went ahead and drew a name out of a hat, and today's winner for the black fly sunglass giveaway is Tristan Brown. That's right, Tristan, you want a pair of glasses, so hit us up and we'll get you them out. Also, don't forget, we're giving away another pair of sunglasses next week. So what I want you to do this week, and it's gonna be funny because I'm just flying off the cusp here. I want you to guess what my camera guy's favorite kind of ice cream is. And I'm gonna leave you in a little secret. He's Mexican, so you know that might give you a little hint, but uh, he's laughing right now. I mean, I'm laughing at him. So anyway, comment down below his favorite ice cream. I'm gonna pick another winner next week. Don't forget to subscribe because that's how you get in the drawing. All right, thank you everybody for watching and have a good one. Beer 30.